Okay, this video is about a simple tune for beginners and intermediate um, pilots who don't really like to tune or advanced pilot who don't really like to tune a lot. So especially you're flying the smaller quad, uh, smaller quad is harder to tune because they're lighter. They're subject to a lot of parameters like the, uh, the wings and um, the frames and motors and how good your props are and your motors are. So I'm actually tuning this, flying this with a very with a TP3 very beat up motors and very beat up props. Okay, so let's start with the tune. So I'm using Android Betaflight for, uh, um, to tune this. Okay, go in, start this. Okay, problem. So I disconnect my quad. Okay, reconnect. Okay, start. Okay, so we're in. So we go to configuration. Okay, so my own. Uh, I prefer motor direction reverse, so you can fly it uh, with the normal motor direction. That, that's fine. I prefer AK AK, and um, yeah. so I'm using for this particular tune. I it's actually flies well with both um, this uh, RPM filtering or no RPM filtering. So I can turn on RPM filtering just with this switch, or. And I turn off RPM filter with this switch or turn off RPM filter with this switch very easy and I don't uh, tune or uh, changes the other parameters right? because this particular tune flies well with either this RPM filtering or without RPM filtering and RPM filtering I'm using actually the uh, the latest PR Heli natively RPM filtering the latest uh, beta is uh, version uh, yeah, it actually supports RPM filtering uh, via Harley as natively. All right, so let's say we're turning uh, RPM filtering off first. So I'm using um, uh, this um, D Shot 600. I prefer D Shot 600 instead of D Shot 300. I, to me, D Shot 600 it flies better, smoother. All right, so D Shot 600, aka aka, either with bi directional RPM filtering or without RPM filtering. Both flies well. But actually, I feel that uh, without RPM filtering, it actually flies uh, similar. And uh, with RPM filtering for this particular build, I can sense a little bit of a, a high power uh, oscillation. Oscillation, right? right? So you can try with RPM filtering or without RPM filtering. Okay, save and reboot. All right, go back. Go back to configuration. Check everything okay. AK AK 600, right? RPM filtering off. Okay, so we're going to um, pit tuning. Pit tuning can be simple from all my testing uh, experiences with 4.2, 4.1, and uh, Emu flight, uh, better flight, and with RPM filtering with manual tuning. I found that actually for this particular uh, build, uh, just keep it simple. Uh, master mu multiply, I just leave it at 1, PD balance at 1, PND gain 1.3, state response 0 0.7. Okay, PND gain you can try 1.2 or you can 1.1 or 1.4, depending on your quad. But for basic, uh, the best tuning, just uh, leave it at 1.3 first, fly, see you like it. If you don't really like it, uh, reduce it to 1.2 or 1.1 or increase it to 1.4 and fly again. Check your motor temperature. Um, see if it's fly smooth and uh, motor is not hot, uh, it should be fine. Uh, state response gains as well, try 0 0.7 or 0 0.8, uh, but just start with 0 0.7 first, after if you, and after you can try 0 0.6 or 0 0.7, see which one you like better, and always check your motor uh, uh, temperature as well. And listen to the sound of your um, motor and your prop as well, if it sounds nice, sounds smooth, and the motor is uh, uh, cool, uh, no, it's warm and it's not hot, it should be fine. So, proto boost I um, reduced to 2. Um, the, uh, the default is 5, I prefer at 2. It flies out at 2. D min, I turn it off. You can you can turn on D min or turn off D min. Both flies good, but uh, for this build, I just turn turn it off. Right? You can try turn turning on D min as well. Right. So, anti gravity, I put at 7. I found that uh, 7 uh, flies well. All right. So we save. Okay. So double check. One 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 point three zero point seven is correct. We go to filter setting. You can try a default one and one, but but this particular build actually I try one point three. It flies well. 
So you can try one first uh, or 1.3 first, one perfect 1.3, and flies and listen to your props spinning. Uh, is it smooth uh, and sounds nice? Uh, if it sounds nice and smooth when you fly it, uh, um, check your motor temperature after 30 seconds. Uh, if it's cool, uh, warm, and it's not hot, it should be fine. You can try 1.2, both 1.2, 1.1, um, and see which one you prefer. Which, and you can even try 1.4 and uh, higher. I will always check for the sound of your motor spinning and uh, the, the, the temperature as well. So I prefer 1.3, 1.3. And I don't change this dy dynamic notch filter even if I'm using RPM filtering natively using better BRLES. Um, so because just keep it simple, but the beta flight 4.2 tuning guide actually um, recommend dynamic notch with filter zero and different setting for dynamic notch Q. Um, I think it's a 150 or something. So I link that uh, beta flight 4.2 uh, tuning guide link below uh, on this um, video you can try that as well but i just leave it uh, make make this tune as simple as possible okay save it so what about red profile you can use my red profile um, center sensitivity i'm using actual red actual red to me is easy to tune much better it's similar to emu flight uh, diamond dynamic race so you can use uh, i actually recommend actual race so actual rate center sensitivity, I put 100 for raw pitch and yaw. For max rate for raw, I put 510, pitch 490, yaw 490. S4, I put a little bit of S4 for all three S's, 0 0.2 for raw, 0 0.2 for pitch, 0 0.2 for yaw. All right, so I actually scale it down to, uh, throttle limit, I scale it down to 75, and especially for TP3, um, we, if you're using the three bladed prop like the Gen Fan 3016, and uh, actually a lot of the manufacturer for uh, the flight control, they actually recommend scaling it down to at least 90. So I can use 75 or 90 on the flies well. Actually 100 it flies well as well, but it's just that there's a risk damaging your uh, flight controller. All right, so I'm using 90. All right, so I'm using Mamba. Uh, F11 all in one for this uh, TP3 build, so you can try 75 or 90 if both flies well. And it's actually uh, very important if you know how to tune your race. And uh, for this, um, um, this uh, actual race in 4.2 is actually very easy to tune. I do a separate video on how you tune that uh, because it's crucial that you know how to tune your race so that you can fly uh, as per your own preferences. You can control it very well stop at a, at a time especially if you like you if you use the camera angle about 20 degree of um, or 15 degree to 30 degree depending on your preferences so if you can tune your rates well you can actually control your uh, quad very easily and you can do uh, flip and roll very easily as well okay so this is my tune uh, you can try this tune uh, and see how you like it. Like it. Uh, I will do a separate tune on uh, uh, a separate video on the uh, how, what like what does e p means, and how you tune it. Uh, if you want to more advanced tune, and uh, a very simple one, very easy to understand. A lot of the videos they explain uh, this as well. I found that uh, after the, all these uh, few years that I'm flying, um, so if still. Uh, but, um, tuning was still very complicated even even after going all these uh, videos but, I've, but once I've actually uh, go into tuning myself and try everything and uh, changes uh, all the uh, parameters and how it works and um, so I can so now it's actually easy to understand I'll do a separate video hopefully uh, all the new pilots especially and the inter intermediate pilots and those who doesn't like to tune they can under understand pit tuning uh, well and easy, easily, right? So 4.2 has been great. Um, the 4.2 is good that it gives you the um, the flexibility to change almost everything. But um, but you can actually fly on default and fly well. But if you just do know a little bit of tuning, just using the master slider, tune a little bit, a little bit, it will fly well. All right. And don't forget to like uh, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, right? 
Thank you very much. Happy flying.